hi guys welcome back to the channel today in this very video i want to share with you guys how i sew this very beautiful corset with a bra cup and a basque waistline in my previous video i share with you guys how i drafted out the pattern so if this feels like what you are interested in please stay tuned until the end of this tutorial for this tutorial you're going to be needing an ankara print a lining hair stay and medium gum stay in nigeria we call that a paper gum and you're going to also be needing a bra cup as you can see i shaped my bra cup this is because i wasn't able to get my actual bra size bra cup size okay and then I went ahead to cut the fabric using my pattern. So I've already cut them on fabric, both the lining and the actual fabric. And you can see that I didn't remove my pattern paper after I cut this out. So ensure to leave yours that way because this can be very confusing, especially the, the cup area. So even if you remove any other parts ensure that you leave that cup area okay so once you are done this is what you should have so this is my center front and these are my sides fronts so we are going to go ahead and arrange this in place all right making sure that each of them align and making sure that you place them right side facing each other if you don't know how to make use of a pin you can go ahead and go on to your sewing machine and stitch it just like this using half an inch but for me i went ahead to use my pins to hold them down so repeat the same thing for the lining and then set that aside we are not yet going to sew this so this is the back bring in your back piece and this back piece is not having a zipper so now i'm going to show you something um from this pattern you would notice that the pattern is bigger than the actual fabric so this pattern is the center back and the fabric is also the center back but i trimmed off two inches from the pattern and then cut it out all right this is because i want my back to be a little bit modest okay i don't want it to be that open but if you decide that you want yours to be that open you can go ahead and remove the entire center back so i'm going to go ahead and pin the center back and the side back using my pins making sure that the right sides are facing each other and I'm going to go over to my stitching machine and stitch using a half an inch. So after we stitch them, this is what we have. You can see I have both the lining and the actual fabric. That goes for the front also. So this is the front. So what I'm going to do next is to reshape the damp part of this my front. Okay, that is the basque shape. All right because it's kind of very wide down there so i want to reshape it so from the center front go ahead and come in by three inches because this is kind of about four inches and then by the side to make sure that you have your actual waist length which i have here my actual waist length is 18 inches remove five inches which is for your off shoulder and then connect it down to the three inches that you shaped out okay so and you go ahead and shape this so this is what i did and once i am done i'm going to go ahead and repeat the same thing to the actual fabric so now after i shaped it if you want to go further and shape this more you can shape it out more but my i want to leave mine that way and remember that if you want it to be a little bit wider it's not necessarily a must that you reshape you can just go ahead and leave yours that way 
so i'm going to place the lining piece on top the actual piece and then do the same thing to the actual piece just as you can see me doing like this so once you are done you can see that we have a perfect shape this is the perfect shape that i want because by the time you sew in with half an inch it's going to look a little smaller than what we have here right now all right so this is the back okay this is the back you can see so you can see how they align with each other and this is the other side of the back all right so once you are done with all of this making sure that everything aligns you can see what you are going to do next is to bring in your bra cup and you can see that this bra cup i never and ever removed the pattern from it so just don't remove your pattern from here okay so what i did was to place my center front um with the side front okay on one part and one part again you're going to place your center front and the side front and then join these two together do that for both parts of the cups all right so i've gone ahead to um do one part of the lining i'm going to repeat that with this actual fabric okay so that you uh, you'll be able to understand what i'm just saying so i'm trying to arrange this in place all right so you can see how i'm trying to figure it out once you are done you are going to go ahead and stitch this down so after i stitch this this is what i have you can see that it has enough room to accommodate your bust and this is my bra cup like i said before i shaped my bra cup okay if you also have your actual bra cup size you can go ahead and shape it more so that it can create room for your um boss to accommodate properly well so after i did this i went ahead to gum my ready-made bra cup into this cup okay so after i cut it i'm going to use my bias to decorate this okay because i want it to look like i have three part corset why is just a, a bias that i used to do that all right so once i was done with that i went ahead to create my channel for my boning so this part actually depends on your creativity okay however you want it but um what i'm going to explain to you here is to ensure that you place a channel right at the center front and the under bust the two under bust but every other part you can just be creative with that okay so whichever way you want your preference go on and arrange that that way okay so after you do this you are going to repeat the same thing to the back so for the back because i'm going to be making use of an eyelet so we need a channel right at that part of the center back okay so we need about two channels there okay so just to create a little bit of firmness on that part because it, an eyelet is going to be there all right so once you are done with that we set that aside and our bra cup we are going to trim out the ss so after i trimmed out the ss this is what i have all right 
so the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in my front piece and i'm going to go on and fixing this bracket so fixing the bracket you're going to ensure that the nipple to nipple line is aligning with the that of the bra cup okay and to fix it you're going to first use your pin to secure this all around and then from that that you're going to fix to the upper end of the side front and then rotate it back to the other side of the center front all right so i believe you understood me and once you are done with that you are going to fix your back and front okay you are going to join them together and to join these while cutting on your pattern you added two inches for your stitching allowance so you're going to sew using that two inches and once i was done sewing this this is what i have and then once you are done sewing this and you are sure of your body measurements that you have you're going to cut out the ss seam allowance because you don't need that and from there this is what we have you can see how nice and clean this is looking so it's time for us to input our lining okay so we are going to turn this with our lining so now i have everything intact the next thing i'm going to do so go on and fixing my boning so for this boning while fixing it remember that you need half an inch upward and downwards to join your lining to turn your lining okay so make sure to leave about 1.5 inches that is three quarter of an inch that is what i love to use but if you love to leave one inch you go ahead that is half half inch on the upper part and the down part go ahead and leave that okay make sure that the boning is one inch or 1.5 inch shorter so once you are done inserting all your bonings into the channels you are going to go ahead and fix your lining so for this lining you are going to ensure that every of your seams are aligning with each other that is for the actual fabric and then the lining okay so make sure that every of the seams are aligning and using half an inch sew up the upper parts so once you are done sewing it you're going to go ahead and notch 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 so you can see how i'm notching that notch it that it won't exceed the allowance okay your stitching and once you are done with that you are going to go ahead and top stitch so right now i'm done top stitching and this is what we have you can see so the next step is for us to close up the side and the down part and you are going to do that using half an inch all right so now um once i'm done sewing this i'm going to show you what it looks like but remember that you're going to leave the zipper part open and that is where you're going to be turning this outside from okay so after we turn this this is what we have you can see how neatly finished this is looking and you guys this is the opening that we left so for this opening you're going to tuck it inward just like the way i'm showing you right now and go over to your sewing machine and stitch it down okay so for this opening you're going to do that for the two zipper parts all right and from there you can see what we have right at that um back part we are going to go ahead and insert our eyelets and also form our loop for this okay so once you are done with that you 
can see our sleeve also so the sleeve is a normal sleeve i cut out a rectangular long fabric all right and then um sew up the hem and then attach an elastic band on it so you guys this is what we have you can see how neat this is looking i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you do please make sure to like share and give this video a thumbs up so that more people can get to see this on the onsen i showed you guys what the outcome looks like i'm sure you'll be wondering why it looks like a dress anyways i made a skirt using the remaining part of the fabric i'm going to see you in my next tutorial for now bye